What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here, and welcome back to another unboxing video. In this video, we're gonna be unboxing the, I don't actually know what month this is for, but it's the 2017 something month Stanley box. So here's the thing, I got this box annually. Uh, the last box, I did not receive. It said I received it, but I never got the box, which was kind of sad, because I think it had some kind of Spider-Man figure in it that was pretty cool. But we're gonna assume that this box is maybe for what, no, July? I don't remember if this is, is this every other month? December, January, February, March, April, December, January, February, February, March, April, April, May, June, June, July, August must be the box I didn't get, August, September, October. I don't know what, this is either for October, November, or December. So we'll just go with that. If you're interested in getting this box, I'm gonna put all the pricing details in the description below. Um, it came in a different box and then I took it out of that box, but once you take it out of the box and you open it up, this is what you're gonna see. Now this is supposed to be a box full of items curated by Stanley, I guess. Um, it hasn't been the greatest box in the world. Oh, I'm sorry, you couldn't see anything. Here's our spoiler card. And you still wouldn't have been able to see anything anyway, so it happens. I'm gonna put the box on this side. I feel more comfortable with the box on this side. Okay, let's check it out. The first item that we have is this. This is usually some kind of comic book that they have, so let's open it up and see what we got. All right, we got a couple Excelsior stickers, which I think they give us all the time. Here's our Stanley card thing. It's like their, it's like their pin, but it's a card that has a fact on it, so if you're interested, and seeing what the fact is, you can pause the video right now and read that. All right, and the comic that we got this month is The Mighty Thor, with who I believe to be Stan Lee on the top. We got two different variants. We got the colored variant and the black and white variant. So that's very cool. These are Stan Lee box exclusives, very nice. All right, next we got a, I think I don't know if I bought this already, I think I might have, but we have a Funko Pop of Loki from Thor Ragnarok. And you guys know I like Loki a lot. So I'm a fan of this, although I think I might have already purchased this pop because I like Loki, but I can't remember. Here's the side view of him. I'm sorry, my lighting was not great. There you go. Side view, and then this is the collection. I've been slowly collecting all of the Hulk pops because there's like a million of them, including my big one. Oh, you can't see it, but I have the big one behind me. Next we have a hat that says Nuff Said. And this is a, just a black like baseball cap. It has a Velcro strap, nothing too fancy. And then we have a bag, a canvas bag. Here's the design on the canvas bag. How is it? It says Stanley and it has Stanley holding a skeleton head, a skull. A skeleton, a skeleton head, AKA a skull. And then we got a, another figure. It's a metals die cast figure of Magneto, which is cool from X-Men. That's a neat one. I was gonna collect all the Power Ranger metals die cast figures, but then I ended up stopping because I realized I didn't really need them, but they're really cool. They're all metal and they're pretty heavy. They're really heavy duty, <laughs> duty. There you go. And then these are the ones in the set. And then the last item that we got is Magneto, Last Days. So this is a graphic novel. Oh, he looks so sad on the back. That's so sad. I don't know if, yeah, this is a graphic, a graphic novel, right? There's all the different pages. Very cool. All right. So that's all the items in the box. Let's go ahead and do some pricing and recap, shall we? I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the recap card. The theme this month was, what does it say? Darkness Descends was the theme. There's all this like writing on this card. I don't know, too much, too much writing. All right, here we go. Where's our calculator? Here it is. The first time we got was our Thor Ragnarok Loki uh, Funko Pop. You could have either gotten Loki or Hella. See, I read your comments, guys. It's hella. That makes sense. I'm going to go ahead and give that $10. I think it's pretty average for a Funko Pop. Uh, we got our black Nuff Said cap. 
Um, it's cool. I would probably give that $8. Nothing too fancy and it's not fitted or anything. We got our two Thor comic books. They're both technically variant editions. Uh, and they're priced at $6, which actually seems fair because these seem pretty thick. I would probably give these $6.50 each, so we can give $12, $13 for the two. You might even be able to give that a little bit more because sometimes variant comics, comics do cost a lot. So we're going to give those $13, $6.50 each. We got our metals die cast figure. You could have either got a Magneto or Venom. I'm kind of glad that we got Magneto, but I'm going to go ahead and give that $10 because those will cost $10. We had our canvas bag. It's an exclusive Stan Lee and Red Skull tote bag. Uh, I think you could give this bag probably five or six dollars. I think you could. It's actually pretty nice. It's a nice canvas bag. Uh, I wouldn't mind giving that six dollars. Stickers and card, we'll just give that a dollar for all of those. And then we had our graphic novel, or a Marvel graphic novel. You could have either gotten Magneto Last Days, which is what we got, or you could have gotten Loki, Agent of Asgard, trust me. Weirdly enough, I actually am glad that we got Magneto because the, the Loki one looks funky. Like, he looks funky in that one. I feel like if that's what he looked like, I wouldn't be a fan of it. I don't know what he looks like, but um, this is priced at $16 US, but you can get it on Amazon for $11, so we'll go ahead and give that $11, which is fair for a graphic novel. Okay, so according to my pricing, this box is worth $59. Now, I did get the year subscription. This is bi-monthly, so I did get the... Uh, I paid for six boxes up front, which uh, cost me $54, or you'd have to pay $58, but we're gonna go off the $54 price point, which means we got $5 extra value. Here's the thing. The only thing I think I priced a little bit low was potentially the Thor comic books, which you might be able to give a couple more dollars, but at the end of the day, this box did not get very good value. And the thing about it is like, they don't really give us, other than the comic books and maybe the hat, Nothing else is really, okay, in the bag. But like the bigger items are not exclusive, which means that we can get them fairly cheap from Amazon. And that's where the pricing, the value kind of goes down. So for a $54 box, we're looking for at least $15, a little bit more, maybe like $16 and we got $5 extra value. So in general, this box didn't really get the value that we're looking for, which I think, I don't remember this box all that well, to be honest, because we haven't gotten it in a while, but I don't think that this box normally gets a ton of extra value, and that's always kind of been my issue with it, is that it's it's lacking a little bit, and I think that it's lacking this month as well. I like the items that they get, but they need to be an exclusive Stan Lee box. They should be able to give us way more exclusive. Like, everything from this box should be exclusive, not just a few things. And the thing Things that are exclusive should be fun things like Funko Pops. They're giving us exclusives of tote bags and baseball caps, which are like okay, but they're not that great. And I think that if this box were to be able to get Funko Pops or something like a figure that's exclusive, it would definitely increase the value a lot more because not that many people get this box, I don't think. I don't think it's that popular of a box. So if you can give an exclusive Funko Pop, that's really gonna up the value of it. All right, guys. Oh, if I had to rate this box, I would give this box, uh, I would give it a 3.5 out of 5 noobs. It's very average for me. I do like the Magneto graphic novel and the Thor comics, but other than that, everything else is pretty just like average. It's just stuff that you can get from the store. You literally can just get this stuff from the store. So it's not the greatest box. So I'm just going to give it a 3.5 out of 5 noobs. Um, I'm looking for more exclusive items and better value. All right, guys, that is all I have for you in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there and you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about this box. What are your thoughts? Again, I wish I wouldn't have lost the other one. I don't know where, like, I didn't lose it. It just, it said it was delivered and I just never got it. So I, I really don't know, but I guess based off of this one, what do you think? Do you think it was worth it? Did you like it? What would you rate it? Let me know down below. And remember, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked to such a private, you'll make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which is coming up shortly. So be on the lookout for that. And before we go, we must do the video shout out. Today's video shout out goes to Pancake Dog 1313. Pancake Dog 1313, you get the video shout out. Thank you so much for watching and commenting on my videos. I'm glad that you were able to find the Zelda box from Walmart, from Culturefly at Walmart, and I'm glad that you liked it. So Pancake Dog 1313, or 1313, however you say it, you get that video shout out. Shout out to you, Pancake Dog 1313. Shout out to you. All right, guys, I hope you have a great day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.